Hey guys, Channel Zero. What's going on? Uh, I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick that uh, I learned from uh, an awesome dude. I mean, the guy is crazy smart. He's got great stuff on his channel. Please check him out. It's uh, John Solar. Yeah, Mabel in the background. John Solar 283. He's uh, he's a really good guy. Mabel, I'm getting ready to get in there and cook. You know, that, that's probably why you're there. Come on, get down here. Get down here. Good girl. Come on, get down. All right, now the trick that he taught me on a video, and uh, hopefully John will watch this video and maybe put it as a video response to this video. These are one quart paint cans. Now I did mine a little bit differently than what he did his. I think he used uh, the Sterno style can. But what I did was I mixed some diatomaceous earth and alcohol, because I was having trouble uh, with uh, keeping my alcohol from evaporating before I get a chance to you know to use it or use it all up Using this diatomaceous earth Mixing it with diatomaceous earth. It's so absorbent. It makes it into a paste What I did was I just filled it up about half full with diatomaceous earth kept adding alcohol to it until I got this pasty consistency that burns and it burns really well and Let me show you here You see? It burns good, and it burns hot, and it doesn't evaporate. I don't know if, I, if you can even see the flame or not. I hope I'm, I, my hands are getting hot. But what I'm going to do is you can tell everything's damp because it's been raining. We are going to use these cans. Sorry about the crappy camera work here. We're going to use these cans to heat up our outdoor oven because it is alcohol burning. I don't know if you can see that under there. And... Uh, Somebody here, hold this, Leslie. That way we can go ahead and, and uh, keep cooking in bad weather using alcohol. This lights right up. Diatomaceous earth, mix it with alcohol till you make it a little paste. And then we uh, just put our, like I said, those are one quart paint cans. They fit perfectly under there. You can see the, uh, the flame coming up out of them. They burn crazy hot. So it shouldn't be very long, and this oven will be ready for us to throw our corn in. We're going to roast some corn in it, and we'll see how well those burn and how long we get. I was getting 45 minutes out of the other uh, soup, the soup cans uh, with cotton balls, and then I remember John, John Solar 283 put that video out where he mixed his with uh, diatomaceous earth, and uh, we did some experimentation, and we got our, got our mixture right, and uh, by golly, look at that go, man burning good and hot we're gonna roast some corn so I appreciate the uh, I appreciate your knowledge John I appreciate you sharing your, your stuff with us he's got cool videos on how to uh, you know refurbish uh, old TV satellite dishes he put mylar tape on them and use them to like to make a focus type cooker thing it's, it's crazy the guy's crazy smart man or just crazy or something I don't know but anyway I'll put a link to his channel he's got some good stuff so check him out we're gonna cook some corn and I'll get back with you directly. Well, we are at about five minutes or so on this oven and we are already at 200 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and put the corn into the oven and let it start roasting. It'll roast slow, but it's gonna get hot here pretty quick. I can already tell that alcohol burns pretty quick uh, or burns pretty hot and we're going, still going strong. So we'll keep you posted. All right, we're about 20 minutes in. This one here went out on me after 20 minutes, but I just kind of stirred it up a little bit, and I noticed that it's still damp. I think what it was, I had it packed too tight. I think I had it packed too tight in there. Let's see if it's going to... Oh, yeah. All right, so there we go. 20 minutes in. Stirred it up. I had it packed too tight. So that's a... Remember to kind of keep it fluffed up a little bit, but now they're both going strong still. And we're a little over 200 degrees, roasting the corn. Uh, working good. I'll keep you posted. Okay, guys. Well, we are at exactly one hour now. Uh, I've had to stir those a couple of times. But you can see they're still both burning strong. And like I said, those are one quart paint cans. Halfway full with diatomaceous earth. And then uh, filled up with alcohol to make, a, to make a paste. I have the alcohol out here, but I haven't had to add any more. Uh, you just, I just stirred them up a couple times and they lit right back up and they're still burning strong. You know, 
and the good thing about diatomaceous earth is that once these dry out and they won't burn anymore it's still diatomaceous earth in there you can just add you some more alcohol right back to the uh, the dry diatomaceous earth and make your paste and again and uh, and keep on going so uh, I really want to thank John Solar 283 uh, for sharing this information and for making that video and for uh, for teaching me uh, another alternative method of fuel for for cooking and for fire that is uh, that's really awesome John uh, you're you're I really appreciate you sharing your knowledge and I hope you guys go and subscribe to his channel and check him out uh, he's got some good stuff man he's a he's a good dude so we are at about uh, just uh, right at the 300 degree mark according to the thermometer uh, and it's been going for an hour and you just can't ask for any better performance from any kind of, uh, of an alcohol burner um, and I'm really very pleased with it and I'm happy so give it a shot get you some empty one quart paint cans and some diatomaceous earth and some alcohol and uh, get some good use out of your stove and I'm going to probably use this some at some point in my hunter stove uh, and maybe even the stove tech so there you go guys making use of what you got even though it's wet and humid and and muggy outside don't feel like building a fire grab you some uh grab you some uh diatomaceous earth and alcohol make a paste light it on fire and go to town all right y'all thanks for watching uh y'all have a great evening questions or comments feel free uh john if you happen to see this video please attach your diatomaceous earth video as a video response down below and uh, y'all please check out his channel. So have a great evening. The end. Buzz buzz. The end.